Hello everyone, my name is Matthew Pizzi. I'm the Director of Curriculum here at Pluralsight, the leader in tech skills education. I'm here today to talk to you about the importance of soft skills in your IT careers. Being talented and performing technical aspects of a job at a high level can only take an employee so far. To truly become an exceptional team member, you must possess a whole host of additional skills that are harder to measure but are critical to success. These skills are referred to as soft skills. The great thing about soft skills is they're completely transferable to any role you may want in the future. Spending time to hone and improve your soft skills will only help you in your prospects of long-term success. Soft skills are generally considered a combination of behaviors and personal traits that allow you to communicate effectively, collaborate with others, and successfully manage conflict. Having good soft skills typically means you'll have strong situational awareness and emotional intelligence to navigate through difficult working situations and producing positive results. This is especially important for leadership positions. Good leadership is more about managing people and directing their efforts towards a desired outcome opposed to practicing any specific technical skills. As someone working in the IT or tech industry, what are the most important soft skills? And that's a great question. While it's difficult to assess what might be considered most important, I do find these four to be some of the most sought after on the Pluralsight platform. They are creative thinking, empathy, time management, and communication. Creative thinking doesn't necessarily mean artistically creative, but it rather means thinking outside the box devising new ways to carry out tasks, solve problems, and meet challenges. It means bringing a fresh and sometimes unorthodox perspective to your work or problem you're facing. This type of thinking allows you to be at a minimum more productive, but potentially as important as being more innovative, creating new ways to perform tasks and solve problems. Some people think of science and engineering as the opposite of art and creativity. This couldn't be further from the truth. The fields of science, technology, engineering, and math are not only highly creative, but they need to be. Designing a more efficient process, writing an innovative new application, or developing a testable hypothesis are all highly creative acts. The technology industry consistently produces projects that don't work, and oftentimes these failures are due to people stuck in their assumptions and old habits. Technology fields need creativity to flourish and grow. Creative thinking is a perfect example of a non-technical skill that will absolutely make you better at your job. I was somewhat hesitant to add this as a soft skill as I truly believe at its core, empathy is a basic human trait and it's fundamental to who we are and who we become. That being said, in order for you to be successful, not only in your career, but more importantly, in your life, you must possess the ability to be empathetic towards others. As we move through our lives, empathy helps us interact appropriately and positively with other humans. It's this type of behavior that crosses over into your professional life to allow you to interact with coworkers on a more meaningful and impactful level. Empathy is about having a deep understanding of your coworkers and how you can use that personal understanding to increase productivity and accelerate innovation. True empathy means that you don't just understand how those you work with feel, but you feel it along with them. This makes you more equipped to positively respond to issues and more capable to resolve problems. Time management, by definition, is exactly what you think it is, managing your time. But what does it actually mean? Time management is about your ability to use your time efficiently and productively. Effective time management allows you to complete more tasks while getting them done faster. Think about those close calls on missing a project deadline when you had too much on your plate. Mastering time management helps you avoid this. Admittedly, it's a trial and error process, something you perfect over time. However, once you find a system that works for you, you'll find yourself working more productively. Time management is built through good habits. Some habits involve preparing for time conflicts and others involve handling them as they come. Making use of a few of these tips can help improve your time management. 
Use a planner, schedule, or calendar. Prioritize your tasks. Set both short-term and long-term goals. Be self-motivated and organize your environment to help you focus. Learn to be flexible if things aren't going to plan and schedule breaks for yourself. Learn to say no when you already have too much to do. Successful communication involves several components. Verbal communication refers to your ability to speak clearly and concisely. Nonverbal communication involves your capacity to project a positive body language and facial expressions. Written communication refers to your skillfulness in composing emails, reports, and other types of documents. Visual communication involves your ability to relay information using pictures and other visual aids. In my mind, active listening should also be considered a key communication skill because it helps you listen to and actually hear what others say. You need to be able to listen to understand how to best communicate with someone. Without strong listening skills, any communication efforts will be one way and probably ineffective. A main function of effective communication is having the ability to collaborate with others. Collaboration means working with one or more people to complete a project or to develop a new innovative idea. Collaboration allows you to work effectively together towards a common goal that benefits the team or company, which is a key characteristic employers look for in team members. Some of these skills we discuss may sound like characteristics that you either have or you don't. That's not at all true. All of these skills are things you can learn. With all learning, remember practice makes perfect, so don't be too hard on yourself and give yourself time and space to fail. This will lead to growth and ultimately mastery of these skills. So how do you learn them? There's almost endless amounts of resources on the internet. Of course, we have a variety of training options here on Pluralsight, and there are other platforms like Masterclass that can also provide you with courses to help you grow your soft skills. Many universities offer short courses, and of course, there's professional groups that do the same. With that, I hope you have a better understanding of why soft skills are so important for your current and future roles. Thank you so much for joining me.